is uh, Latino Alvarez Perico and my stage name is Latino Perico. Uh, how long I've been doing music? Uh, uh, let's see, uh, for six years now. I, okay, I started music 2011. And, uh, but that's not when I started recording. I started recording 2012. Then I started going for competition 2013, 14, and 15. Started music properly, like I'm meant to. Started in 15. So I've been doing music since then. Oh, um, the, um, um, what really brought me to music at first was um, I've always wanted to invent something that I've never been created before as a kid. I guess that never changed, you know. As I grew up, I, I grew up in, a, in an art family with my, my mom is a composer and a, and a writer. And my older brother, an artist, right? So I used to watch him, like, I watch what he could do with the ink on the paper and all that. Uh, I think this, all this artistic influence is what made me want to like find my own um, space where I can create things, and that's how I found music. It's, it's, um, it's a very comfortable place for me to create. So I just pick a little bit of all this out as I, I, I saw growing up, and then yeah, I do draw too. Well. Music has the music is my artistic space. My music. Um, it's a hybrid of indie, indie music, a little bit, a little bit of reggae, a little bit of um, soul music, and then hip hop, of course, because I rap. I'll describe my music as um, um, conscious music with a little bit of psychological effects. Yeah, yeah, I mean, um, yeah, yeah, that's the idea. The idea is to reflect um, how I perceive the world in my music. So, yeah, it does it does reflect me in it. Maybe not in all of them, but yeah, yeah. I, for for 2019, 2020, I'm still, still working on the projects I'm working on. But I have like three projects I'm working on. I have Life of a Brat for my friend's clothing line. I have Catley Boys. We're supposed to be a collective, and then my personal project, which I haven't decided what the title will be yet. But yeah, we're almost done. Um, I had an EP I did 2016. It's called Holiday Project. I did during the holiday when I was in, when I was in sophomore. Yeah, but I didn't put it out like that. It kind of like most of my classmates still have this project wherever they are, but. I didn't end up putting it out. There were a lot of challenges I was facing that period. But I was, I'm still gonna release it again and tell the people that, yo, this is a throwback project. This is a 2016. I haven't put out any project yet, but I have a couple of songs out there. I have Sip I have um, Decline, and I have um, Angel in the Sky, and my Sam and, and yeah. yeah. Jesus Christ. I might have to pull out my phone. <laughs> For this one, because <laughs> I really don't look up to the popular ones. Jesus Christ. But I know Damian Mali, I listen to Damian Mali a lot. Um, I listen to Dominic Fight. It does a little bit of indie. And, um, wow. Then, of course, every other popular song that comes. Man, it's just the, the fact that people get to hear you. You know, that's not something I got a lot growing up. Like, I was bullied a whole lot in, 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 uh, while growing up. It feels good to, to know you're being listened to. Well, I think if they start looking at music in, a, in, in, a, in an artistic perspective, you know, more. I mean, it's good to care about the business side of it, but like, looking at it from the artistic perspective, it gives you deep details of what's of what's going on, you know. As a as like platforms like this should should be encouraged, you know, because I'm being listened to right now. I don't necessarily need to do a song before someone hears 
anybody that sees this interview gets to know me you know and man that's 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 it that's it this is LTI you know that's not pretty cool and you're watching Mike Central keep watching